Welcome, first and foremost, I'd like to give all greetings to Yahawa, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Haraka Kodash, Double on the South Passes and the Lesser Great Minnesota Citation to Elect Virgin Unis, Wilkins, Sincerity and the Truth. Brother Barra here with a quick lesson, right? Um, This lesson basically will be going into, um, you know, the times. The times, you know? You know, this is just some local news. Venezuelans are abused by Trinidad police. This is the, um, this is what I search in Google because there are plenty of um, reports locally of Venezuelans, so, this, um, the, aka Venezuelans, this um, tribe of Asha, right, being abused by um, the police. They have videos. They have many things. I can go into that, into the depths. But the whole point of the matter is that they fled political uh, e uh, economical, eco economic persecution in their own country, so called, because we were scattered abroad. You know, Venezuela wasn't our, 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 our natural country. You know, the Venezuelan so called, they f when you go into the history of it, um, Second King 17, right? The Northern Kingdom, they fled uh, Samaria, right? Underneath the persecution of Shalmaneser V, right? Which they were really driven out because through the spirit they were idle they, they, they were given onto idols, right? That was the spirit says, the scripture says, right? So when the time came, right, the kingdom was also rent as per prophecy, right? The kingdom was rent and in, and, in, and and they they fled to worship the Lord in a land where never some mankind ever dwelt. Right? So they end up in what so called Venezuela and going up to the Americas, right? So the point of the matter is that they, they're down here in Trinidad and they're being um, abused, right? They're being abused, right? They're being raped. They're being raped by the ones who who are supposed to be protecting them, right? Venezuela, they're being raped and killed. You know, Venezuelan woman pregnant to the tree, beaten while pregnant. She was killed, right? They have other articles where, um, where, um, Venezuelan women are being um I don't know if I will get it here real quick. Right? Venezuelan women um no sorry no it's all right Venezuelan teen raped and left for dead hunt for the rapist monster Venezuelan teen critical in hospital suspect arrest in connection with Venezuelan teens attack update police man held in connection with the rape of Venezuelan teen and the list goes on right so you know that just that just um to the spirit oh, fuck, i don't want this bible let me get it in here and blue letter to the spirit which is the word right we've been warned you all been warned you know that these things would happen in the last days and and the scripture says measured out the time diligently in itself right this is matthew 24 and verse 8 it says all these are the beginning of sorrows right they fled persecution in their own land and they came to this land seeking succor right and they're going to be persecuted in this land as well right this is what the scripture says unless um they of the elect right and they repent and to be safe here in these last days it's going to have more and more persecutions because hey he's so coming in like a flood right these attacks are going to be greater the spirits are gonna be rolled up. The scripture said they are there be spirits that are created for vengeance. They are beasts, the tita wild beasts, all these different things that are ready to tear up Jake in these last days, or people on the whole in these last days. These only people are gonna be saved out of this is the elect, the predestined to be saved from the foundations of the earth who is with Yahweh Shai. Right? And this is what we've been warning your people. This is um Amos. Right? This is Amos chapter 5 and verse 19. Right? It says, um, as if a bear did flee from a sorry, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it, right? Because all this is the day of the night. Because the scripture says in the first day was the evening and the morning, right? Was the first day. So you have the darkness before you have the light and the dawning of the day, right? The scripture talk about the day star. Right, which is Yahweh Shai, the day star. In it, 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 what, what do you call the day star? Right, the sun. Right, because the scripture says they will have one a greater light to rule by day, 
and a lesser light to rule by night, right? So the sun is the day star, right? And and what we're we waiting for, the day star, which is Yahweh Shai, Second Peter chapter one and nineteen. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, right? Pro before sight to tell tell before time is a sure word. We're telling you before time what's about to happen. Yahweh Shai is about to make his return. We're in that third day, right? But we're in the night before the day. And what do you call it? It's, it's always the darkest before the night. Right? It's always the darkest before the night. So, you're going to see more and more atrocious behavior as they say. Right? Just bear with me a little bit on the job. And, you know, I'm doing this this this, this video in transit. Alright, I'm to move away from the distraction a little bit. Right, so um, yeah, it says we have a more sure word of prophecy, which is where, where unto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. So this is this word is the light, right? This word is the hope. The scripture in um first in Saint John chapter one verse four say the light was the life of men, and that light and life of men is who Yahweh Shai, the day star. Right? It's shining. It's in a dark place. This place is dark. This is a wilderness. It's a desert. Right? The only cisterns, the only oasis is the brothers who are speaking in this truth. Right? Who are speaking and teaching this truth. We are the only cisterns or oasis. You know, you're in a desert and it's dry, it's thirsty, it's humid. Right? You're exhausted. Right? So the only revitalizing you can get is from a well of water. Right? So this is what, what the prophets of the Lord represent here in these last days, right? Beginning with our, our, our elders and our apostles at Great Millstones. Our apostles and our elders at Great Millstone. And all the brothers come on from the greatest to the least, right? It says, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. So, so when the day star to arise in your heart? The knowledge of this truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? We can't go to the Father unless we go through Yahweh Shai. Right? Yahweh Shai said, if you see me, you see the Father. And it's more than just physically seeing that he is a, 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 a melanated man with, 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 with white woolly hair and a white beard. Right? Which represents wisdom. Right? The ancients of this. Wisdom. Foundation of the earth. Wisdom. Right? It's more than that. It's more than his appearance. It's that his image will be made into his image and his, his likeness and his... Um... Um representation as they say right whereas two thirds in this world are being made onto what the image of the ruler of this world the ruler of darkness which is what satan right it says until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old times by the will of man but holy men of the most high speak as they were moved by the holy spirit so we speak in the word we speak the spirit the scriptures john 6 63 say what the words i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life right the spirit manifests unto us that we can break these things down that are happening geopolitically through the scripts right we could we, we could say yo here is where this the, the, this this scripture has been fulfilled right the affliction that, that Jacob is going through across the four corners of the planet Earth. Right? So I just wanted to point out is there basically some news in the news, right? Food crisis, right? Avoid hung, um, you know, this also lack here. Yeah, I can read. Economist food shortage looms in Trinidad, right? This was what, April, the 18th of April 2020. Food waste and hunger in Trinidad and Tobago, right? The Borgen Project, the 2nd of November, 2017, right? I want to get a little bit in the news. It says, danger of, of, um, of collapse, right? These are the things that, these are the things that are happening around the world. You know, this is not, this is not, this is not, um, isolated to Trinidad and Tobago only. It's worldwide because the devils that rule, the devils that rule, right? They have it so by design, Right? This is Mark chapter 13 and verse 8. It says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and trouble 
and troubles these are the beginning of sorrow so there's there, hey there's more sorrows coming right there's more sorrows coming this is this hey this is not even the climax we now starting to see right the scripture said um every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess you how about shimmy shy you know we've been forewarning you the Lord said what? My glory I'm not going to give to any other. We've been telling you of the God of this Bible. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He being the one that's going to bring forth this destruction. Going to bring forth this calamity. Going to bring forth. Bring these nations to the knees. Right? Esau and Edom. Right? The powerhouse. Right? You're going to see how much power you have. The scripture says your horses are flesh. And you are flesh. Right? The most high Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is coming to, sh to, to, to show you what is true power. The almighty powers they are coming right this this video isn't going to be too long right it was just a quick examination of the news second Ezra, second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 18 right it says the begin um i'm a fact that i started um verse 17 where is me where is me who will deliver me in those days this was what ezra's cry when he was when the angel was showing him what is happening in these times it says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear you see uh, the power shall stand in fear and the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils come behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment yeah but they 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 are scourges from the most high we're telling you that you how about shim yahu shai by shim harakakodash there's the heavenly father, Yahweh. He to be, he exists, the existing one. In the name of his son, Yahweh, Shai, who the world ignorant, we call Lord and Jesus Christ. He's, he, deliverer, is, his, is the meaning of his name. He's savior. His name is going to, his, the purpose of his name is going to be fulfilled. The meaning of his name is going to be fulfilled. He's going to save his people, right? Not all Israel are, are of Israel, which means that not all, the word Israel means what? As a prince, he now has power, right? With, with, with God. Yah, he, Shah, Prince, Allah, which is power, right? As a prince of has power with God, right? When angel, when the um the angel rest, wrestled with um with Jacob till the, do, the dawning of the day, right? Jacob wrestled for a blessing, right? <laughs> and this is this is what the men of the truth going through. We wrestling for that blessing. We wrestling for what that crown, right? We continue to fight for that crown. The true men of the Lord, the sincere brethren, right? We wrestling for that crown in sincerity and in truth, right? And then through the straight gate, through that difficult time, through them, hey, through whatever we're going through, right? So that we don't be judged with the world. The world has a great judgment coming to it, right? It says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, you know? The scripture says in, um, in um, 2nd Ezra chapter 8 and verse 50, let me see if I can get real quick and I'll come back. I can read 9 uh, verse 11 and they that have loaded my law while they had yet liberty and was yet a place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain and this is what we're saying this time here this grace period this liberty is not given to you to say that the Lord is done away with the Lord himself say what I think not that I come to destroy the Lord nor the prophets which means the book, the first five books of Moses, where the laws dwell, right? And the prophets, all the other books from the greatest prophets to the least prophet, right? Oh, but I had one book, right? He didn't come to destroy these words. He came to what? Fulfill, fulfill prophecy, right? It was prophesied that he was going to come, right? All the words, he said, what? Not one jot, no one tittle shall pass till the words of the Most High be fulfilled, right? It's in John, sorry, Second Ezra chapter 8 and verse 15. Let me see if I get out real quick. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time, shall that time shall dwell. So like, yeah, let me slow it down. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Right? But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such that be as like thee. For unto you is paradise open. And the tree of life is planted. The time is come. The time to come is prepared. Plenteous is made ready. A city is built and a rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. So this is this that blessing is for those who take heed to the word. 
right? And and repent and do the things to be to be in the, in the good graces of the Most High. Yah Bashim Yah Shai Bashim Harakakodash, right? But those who not, they're gonna they, they, hey, they're gonna fall in this category. Second is Joseph to see and verse um, nineteen. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn for, from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. You don't consider that the Lord sending these hurricanes. Hey, the earth swallowing up people left, right, and center. That is not something new. That's something old. The, the earth swallowed up um, Jatan and Corey, right? The murmurers, right? You see in videos of the earth swallowing up people, the earth, the earth landslides, earthquakes. Jamaica, um, I think down there in Ecuador is a hurricane in, in Latin America that just, just passed. All these things are happening. These are scores just from Yahabashim Yashai, but these people consider it not. Right? Behold, victuals shall be sold good cheap upon the earth, and they shall think themselves to be in good case. They have susus running all over the place. Right? People say, Jake thinking that they're coming out of, of uh, out of affliction, out of bondage. Nah. You're thinking that you're in a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth sword famine and great confusion. Yeah. You're confused. They don't want Jake to rise up. They hear Jake. The, the commissioner of police holding back the money and saying, yo, um, greedy people who are in who are in in, in um in um uh in, 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 in unlawful permanent schemes. Who are you to tell me what to do with my money? Right? Who are you to tell me how to, how to take risks? The bank takes risk with your money. The bank takes your money, trades it on the stock market, and gives you and gives you back penny, pennies, pennies on, on, on the millions that they make. Right? Why isn't that an illegal um, uh, um, illegal pyramid scheme? The scripture talks about um, using usury on your brother, right? But yet still they defend the system. The system wasn't designed for, for Jacob. The system was designed for the heathen and Esau. You understand? So it's got great confusion on the earth. Jake don't understand why they can't rise up. They can't rise up because you know, underneath the curses of Yahweh Shem Shai. Jake have all these philosophies. I don't believe that I cursed, right? Because I can sp I can speak that curse out of my life and all this all and all this bullshit. The scripture I read I read it earlier on. The Lord said what? No prophecy. Of a four time was written or um, was of any man's private interpretation, right? It says, But for all these, they shall not, for all these, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victory shall be sold, shall be so good, cheap upon the earth, and they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall be, shall the sword destroy, and death shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. Right? I will stop right there and give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakodash. Give double honor to all apostles and elders, a great man, so and salutation to the men and brethren in his work in sincerity and in truth. Pray that this lesson was edifying, if not informative, and say shalom.